for today. So as part of this theory administration side, what we are going to discuss is about so what is theory first of all, right? In the same time, similar concept SAP introduced in the SAP, the build work zone in the BTP, right? So, so some similar functionalities SAP introduced launchpad service earlier. It was known as the launchpad service. Now it's a build work zone, but so especially this session is like a fury fury administration part here. So first of all, what is fury means fury normally maybe few of the members already knows about the fury fury is a new user experience. It's a the strategy is like a new user experience strategy that simplifies and the modernize the the user interact with the the software enterprise software right so normally traditionally we use the uh, sap geo right sap geo screens sap logon pad we will use to connect to the the our sap enterprise softwares like ecc crm above systems and all the above systems and everything but with this fury it's kind of a browser based experience we can traditional we can connect to the so back end systems via tiles through tiles we can access the back end tiles and everything so here we need to activate the tiles and everything here right so here as part of this course first of all from activating the fury from activation of the fury apps to the troubleshooting the troubleshooting up to the troubleshooting we will discuss here up to troubleshooting we will discuss in our courses here here activating means so here first of all we need to discuss about the so what fury introduction about the fury we will cover it here in a detailed way so it's a modern user-centric design approach included by sap right to provide the responsive user experience across all the devices like desktops tablets and so we have the smartphones also we can access it here, right? So unlike in the traditional SAP GUI, which is the transactional and complex, but Fiori transform applications into the easy to use and role based concept to improve the productivity, reduce the time and everything here, right? So that is the, it's a key features in the Fiori. It's a role based access just to roll based upon the role you can able to access the based upon the role you can you can access the all the fury related apps and everything here and then also it's a responsive design it's a responsive design here responsive design means it works seamlessly across the from any devices mobile tablet desktop here it's a simple ux user interface here right which minimum clicks minimum clicks it's in case of you are using the mobile phone just touching the the tile then you will get it out and also it's a modern layout and the focus on the workflows and everything here right and also it's a real-time analytics real-time analytics and it's kpi embedded into the kpi is also embedded into the fury apps here right so coming to, to the Fiori architecture, architecture also we will discuss more on the regular classes here. So what is that architecture? How the Fiori architecture? Why? Because Fiori runs on the SAP gate, NetWeaver gateway are embedded with the Fiori front end server. And also it will interact with the S4 ANA and ECC backend system via OData. First of all, what is OData? via OData services, it will interact with the backend system here. So which means here the front end like a front end, the front end like a Fury, the front end launchpad and UI apps here. So front end like a Fury apps and user interfaces here, the back end, the back end like a your back end SAP systems here, your back end SAP systems here right so this is a back end like a sap systems here right so either ecc or the s4 systems here right this is the fury here fury means here the front end front end means either launch pad or the ui file applications are here then the user login here user launch and user click on this button then the 
the response you will get from the back end which means you no need to log into the back end systems here automatically the user provisioning and the trust will be established so that it will be able to display the response from the back end systems here right so the connectivity will happen via sap gateway the fury apps to the the back end systems the connectivity how the connectivity means the gateway you have to enable it here gateway you have to enable it here right so that is the the main thing here so here as part of this one we will discuss about the fury deployment models the recommendation for the fury deployment here either embedded with the s4 ana or central hub so standalone so there are the multiple deployment models are there so similarly we will use the uh, types of deployment models we will discuss and also uh, we will do the practical things on the our s4 ana system as well which is newly built which we have still not enabled the s4 ana system why because furthermore sap is evaluating the same strategy in the btp as well here is and the build work zone concept and everything here right so build work zone concept so in the build work zone they are so implementing similar features they are already implemented we are already using we know right so it's a uh, multiple ways like it hybrid model and also on premises in the cloud means it's a we have the btp so there are the multiple ways the fury apps based concept is available in the systems here right so deployment models we will discuss about the deployment models in the detailed way what are the component version should be required here and also what are the fury versions we have as part of this one so these things we will cover it here and also in the business suit systems what is the landscape if it is the one system sap landscape then how it will be the the deployment models basically deployment models we will discuss here so then how the o data is helping to pull the data from the so the back end systems why because one app there are the multiple o data services one app there are the multiple o data services here right so and also we will discuss about the sir fury apps means how many types of fury apps we have here so here the fury apps perspective we have that there are the multiple fury apps we will enable the transactional apps analytical apps fact sheets app web den apps ui fi apps sap ui fi apps so there are the multiple types of apps are there here sir then how can we enable it here so what is meant by transactional apps it's like a transactional apps like it's perform the business tasks suppose sales order leave request time sheets and everything what about the analytical apps it kind of a kpi metrics trending analytics fact sheets so views views of the object vendors cob so that kind of customers we can view using the fact sheets right then sir why fury is required for the business we can do like a normal gui we can log in right why it is required so it's maybe as i can say it's a faster task execution so then also the the real time decision making with the embedded analytics with normal gui will it do the any analytics graphs screens estimations and everything right no but here it's a real time decision making using the embedded analytics apps and also the increased the user satisfaction right and also it's a central point for all the fury apps as it's a title the catalogs groups roles the notification search bar user settings many things will come in the here in the fury okay so there are the types of apps we will discuss deployment models we will discuss so and also how to enable the fury first of all how to enable the fury in the esporna systems what components required what version is required here right then will it support to the back end systems or not the type of assessments we will do right so if customer ask you to do the so fury implementation then in that case you need to so provide the multiple deployment options right based upon the landscape strategy and everything you need to provide the multiple deployment options then what are the things under the comes under the feature what are the component to version should be here right so these are the things like fury enabling fury enabling gateway enabling ns4 and embedded analytics enabling right what are the prerequisites 
how to enable the search connectors here ESH search connectors we have to enable it here so they are the HTTPS port should be enabled here right there are multiple things we have to do it here right enabling the Fiori then so we have to activate the Fiori and enabling the apps the multiple apps depends upon the business business of the lineups line of business depends upon the product so we have to enable the apps then respect to roles we have to create it roles creation so we will discuss here and also standard apps how to enable the standard apps and the roles we will discuss here and also we can also do the some custom apps creation also how to perform it here then how to integrate this fury into in, the, in between how to integrate with the web dispatcher concept here so some people will use the web dispatcher right because some of the apps it's required the web dispatchers so integration of the web dispatchers right then how the web dispatcher will route the request to the so backend systems right then what configuration we have to perform if you integrate the web dispatchers this type of administration work mainly administration work and also here also we will discuss about the custom applications creation sometimes you may receive the so do the some custom applications creations and everything that time so we will we will work on the some of the custom you will not receive, you will not do any customization but in a few apps we'll do the custom custom apps creation also here but it's nice it's not really our administration scope but i will explain about the custom app creations standard that we can do but custom app creations that is required is some development knowledge is required that we do as well in our as part of the course okay so this is the then uh roll out your apps to the users then so if any errors troubleshooting any issues then how to troubleshoot it so this kind of activities here means enabling to as i mentioned here from activating to troubleshooting we will do the all kind of activities then how to perform the maintenance activities and everything for the fury troubleshooting experience gateway logs in case of any errors so trust establishing from the front end and back end systems here so roles segregations so then so this way we will start our classes here overall duration i am thinking max one week one week 10 days so max 10 days i am thinking why because so 10 days so that is the the ways which we are going to discuss regarding that timelines timelines only we need to align what timelines will start the this fury administration classes here so any 